Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. So yeah, the game is officially out. So before I actually start this video, I do want to give a special thanks to the devs. They actually gave me a free game key. But yeah, let's actually dive into this. So what is this game? This game is pretty much like a music listening idol game, but it's it's much more than that. Like it's not your typical RPG or like a typical monster taming game. You do collect spirits while you're kind of listening to music. I'll be honest, the soundtrack alone in this game is worth the money. Like it is such a great soundtrack, especially if you're into lo-fi music, so relaxing. But yeah, let's actually dive into this and actually see what the game offers. So, let's see. Welcome to Spirit City. I'm Lenny. I'll be your guide here. It's nice to meet you. Let's take a moment to get you settled in as I guide you through the things you can do around here. Play some music and add some sounds. This is the audio section where you can control your music, choose from different curated low playlist and even add a different background sound to create your perfect soundscape. So in the corner here, this is your productivity corner. Create a to-do list and get to work with the timer. Use useful to remind yourself to take breaks. There are tools to track your habits and for journaling too. So also guys, like if you guys don't really know, but it's actually a really good strategy if you're trying to study something, especially for students, to don't like work more than 20 minutes at a time. It's actually like scientifically proven where if you try to like cram more than like, like 20 minute sessions, you're less likely to actually remember what you've actually learned. So getting up every 20 minutes is actually a really good strategy. And doing the timer down in the corner there is actually a really good way to kind of remind you to go, just even just simply standing up and going to get a glass of water or just walk it around your place is a really good way to, to get your you know brain to kind of relax a little bit. But yeah, let's actually dive into the rest of this. So we got the activity over here, select a spot and an activity. From here, you can select where to hang out in the room and what activities you want to do studying reading or even taking a nap so lighting set the time of day to your liking whether you're an early bird or a night owl here you can choose different times of day that affect the lighting and ambience of the room this is the, I guess, the creature collection part, or I guess would say the monster taming part. This is what I, this is what really got my attention on this game. This is your spirit, uh, let's see, spiritography book, the spirit decks. This is where you'll find your trusty spiritography book, the spirit decks. Inside you will record all your findings about the different spirits you'll encounter. Using different sounds, activities, and lighting will lure spirits to reveal themselves. This icon glows if a spirit is being lured and will notify you when a spirit has been discovered. It can take some time, be patient, and they will show up eventually. If you guys actually looked at one of my older uh, demo plays, it roughly took me about 20 minutes to get the, uh, the little porcupine uh, fire log guy. So it's definitely possible. So it it's not going to be like a five minute collective, you know, collectathon. So it might take hours to actually get the whole decks here, which is really nice. Okay, so we got this uh, bar up here. Up there is your ranking as a spiritographer. You'll earn experience as you spend time here, as well as using the various productivity tools. Discovering a new spirit will also give you big experience boost. Here's your ranking as a spirit photographer. When you level up, I'll reward you with spirit credits, SC, that you can use to unlock new customization option items. 
as well. Some rare spirits will only show up if your photography level is high enough. Customize your room. This space is all yours. Here, you can customize the room to your liking. You can also exchange your spirit credits here to unlock more options. Oh yeah, just a, uh, just a note guys, the devs actually do plan on adding more spirits and more content to future updates and potentially uh, paid DLC as well, which is really fantastic because I could see this game just added on some really cool stuff. So if you guys really enjoy the game, I definitely would stick around and you know support them as much as you can. So customize your appearance, open the wardrobe, and be whatever you want to be. You can also select a di different spirit companion once you discover one. Your spirit credits can be used here to unlock even more options. Enjoy your time here in Spirit City. Although now, enough with my explanations, why not by, oh, I can't even talk. Why not start by customizing your appearance? Okay, so as we are learning, I think we head over here to the wardrobe. This is really cool. We could choose a, uh, we could choose some uh, different uh, skin colors here. Oh, we could even uh, do a uh, custom RGB wheel here. That's really cool. Let's go with more of a uh, standard uh, human color here. And it looks like they already give us some credits here to begin with. Oh, that's cool. They give you, they give you some different uh, body shapes. So this is more feminine and this is more masculine look. And then we can go heavier, lighter. That's really cool. Definitely, you know, something for everybody here. And we got some different head shapes. We're gonna just do some cool blue hair. They definitely got a lot of selection here. Oh, that's really nice. I forget what this is called. I know this is like for, I believe it's like an Islamic or Middle Eastern thing. Bear my ignorance. Like, that's really cool. They really like thought about different options for different cultures. That's really nice. I think we're just gonna, I could spend all day looking at this. Look, they even got some cat, like some ears and some horns. I think we're just gonna go standard human here. Got some different type of eyebrows, which we can't really see, can we? Yeah, I think we're just gonna keep it simple here. Got some different do some like anime eyes we'll just go with a simple like yellow actually let's customize a little bit we'll go super like yellowy orange okay what else we got here we got different mouths Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll add some anime, like, cat lips there. And if you're looking for some facial fuzz, they got some facial fuzz for you, too. But we'll uh, keep this one simple. Oh, look, you can even add some headphones. 
Though it doesn't look like the clothing items, you can change the color. But I'm assuming we can unlock more of those. Okay, yeah. It looks like we can unlock some different colors with the, with the different money things here. I think we're gonna go with... We're gonna go kind of like a bland look here. And then right now, looks like we only got the one companion. Oh, okay. We can change the color. So if we had a thousand, we could change it to like a cost. Okay, that's pretty cool. We could do the white cat. I think we'll we'll keep the stand we'll keep the standard kitty here. Did I just screw up? Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the the glasses. We'll keep standard tops. I feel like we should do some like cozy home stuff. Like a cozy jacket. Let's see, where's some, some like leggings? They got some crazy socks here. Where you go barefoot? I feel like we need a different color. There, my kid, my kid would like the pink. But no socks. You could do, even do like little slippers. Look at that, little slippers. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the customization there. Then the activity is where we're gonna go. So let's do the bay window. But you could also choose like the desk area the fireplace the bed oh it's a bug no <laughs> i hope they're watching it looks like that item clips the feet hopefully they'll fix that look you can relax you can do some breath oh okay it's working there that was weird it was like a moment clip What's full view? Oh, okay. Man, they give you a lot of options here. Okay, so the next one would be decor. Main wall. What other colors I got? Oh, you can change it like with the with the texture. I don't know why I'm feeling this like. Okay, the floor actually has actual texture. I, I do like the default, or we can go like carpet. Man, there's so many options here. Let's go with the default floor there, and then the sidewall. Let's stay with the brick, and then the main wall, this is where we can maybe accent. I feel like that's a little too dark. We'll just stick with purple for now. And then I guess you can change your desk. Okay, so 
we'd have to spend some money. It looks like we could change the chair out too. And then, oh, okay, we could change the back wall there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's change it with a more pastel y color, I guess. Yeah, my kid would probably like the Christmas lights. And what accessories? Ooh, coffee. I'm a big coffee fan. Okay, that's no coffee. Oh, they're going to make me buy. Okay. And then the bed. Okay. Then we got... Okay, they, they get us on that. Okay. And then we can change curtains. I think I'm going to keep keep the purple curtains for now in the cushions. I think the white cushions look pretty good. Nah, we'll just keep the purple for now. And then fireplace. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep the that and then the next item we got is lighting we have morning afternoon evening and night I definitely like the uh, the night okay so we go down here to the So we got some different options here to do list. We're just going to do test. And then test two. And then we can set a timer. Pretty cool. And then you press X to close those out. And then my habits. We can create a, a habits thing there and then a journal. Oh, you can actually like write a journal. That's, that's really cool. I like that. So down here, I think this is where we get to select our music. So you can also play music off the web browser. Uh, if you're a content creator, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that because you have the risk of getting copyrighted. Unfortunately, the good old YouTube gods will get you. So what? I, let's try this rainy day. And then I believe you can change. The sounds, like you could. Really, they got white and pink noise and brown noise. Yo, I wish I had this. Oh, my kids would have, when, when I was, uh, when my kids were younger, I used to like play white noise and pink noise for my kids before they went to bed when they were children, like super, super young babies. I could have, I could have been playing this in the background. That's pretty cool. You could add some.
trying to get us in a in a nice mood here. What is this little? Oh, you can hide the visual effect. That's cool. Oh, that might be getting drowned out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this for a few minutes here and hopefully we can get a spirit to come by and visit. So I'm gonna, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. If a spirit does pop up, I'll, I'll kind of fast forward through all this, but yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. So it looks like we got our first spirit. So uh, what I ended up doing was I kept the same settings and I actually switched over to the desk. So being in different locations could actually like change what you find. In this case, this actually <laughs> increased my speed in finding one. So we found this was a goop, goopy. This guy's definitely cute. Okay. So it looks like uh, 1,000 spirit credits. Daily login, daily task, and daily timer will give us some points. So when we click on it, it looks like we get a, a level up bonus. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. But yeah, I just wanted to get you guys kind of started on how to play this game, or kind of you know, you know, show you guys some of the features the game has to offer. But yeah, let me know down below if this is something you guys are interested in. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.